Hello and welcome. I'm Anthony Hudson. Now it's time for Sunday afternoon football. Under very grey skies here in Melbourne. There's a bit of light rain falling right now, which is not ideal. And joining me in the box for some special comments will be Gary Lyon. Hi, Hutto. It's great to be here today. A practice match on the bill today as these two sides test each other out. The Demons set to take on Adelaide in this exhibition match today. Full confidence, they're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. Good call, Hutto. We know the scoring capabilities of both teams, so it's all about the defence of both sides. If this turns into a shootout, it becomes about which team holds up better defensively. confidence they're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it the cheer squad's hard work is paying off the banners are looking great Captains prepare for the toss of the coin. The Demons wins the toss. Both sides look ready to get into the action just moments away now. Guided down nicely by Pierce. Umpire is going to ping her here. Foley puts her body on the line. A great defensive effort. Puts it on the boot. The mark has been taken. Looks to move it by foot. She gives chase to the footy. Kicks out of the congestion. Emerson had it, lost it. Ball picked up. Uses the bump. Picked up by Foley. Uses a short handball. Takes that one strongly. Thompson, a long way out. Move it on. She takes aim. Lucky to score with that shot. Now they lead by one. Cordnick searching for a teammate. Umpire not fooled by that effort. Pays the free kick. Randall with a chance if she can keep her cool. Testing shot outside 50. Goes for territory. A race for the loose ball. Sanka wins the foot race. Dug it out. She likes her chances from here. That one hits the footwork. Adelaide Lee is now two. Cordnick with the responsibility of kicking it in. Decides to kick. Drops the ball. Paxman won herself a free. Slams it on the boot. Sweeping handball. That can link up now. Dug out the loose ball. Burr drives the kick. Paxman wins the marking contest. Looks up with the kick. Good mark on the run. Elects to kick. It's a foot race to get this one. Not sure what the problem is from here, but something is definitely wrong. Gaz, can you tell us what you saw? It doesn't look good, Hutto. It's hard to see her coming back on. Neither side able to hit the scoreboard early. 
Thompson going for number one. She pops through the goal. She acknowledges the crowd. Adelaide gets the first goal on the ball. One down by Xanka. She's got the footy in her hands. She's got the football now. Gathers it now. A chance to put one through here for Melbourne. 60 metres out. Clears the congestion. Randall drops the mark. Manufactures the handball. They can link up now. Lee applying physical pressure. Collects the loose ball. Hacking it out of there. Terrific mark there. 45 metres out. She drives it towards goal. The kick ends up hitting the post. The Demons behind by seven. Allen to bring it in. Shear takes a strong mark. Adelaide, you're allowing the opposition uncontested marks, but they sit up behind the ball so well it forces the opposition to play that style. Quickly onto the boot. Gets the loose ball. Scott brings it out of the pack. Couldn't quite with the mark. Mops up the loose ball. Going for goal number one. The kick connects with the post. Melbourne, close the gap to Tix. Allen unsure of the next move. Takes a simple grab. Goes by foot. Marks in a bit of space. Uses it now. Van Hagen marks uncontested. Looks like it's going to be paid deliberate. This is kickable by her standards. Normally a good shot on goal. 40 metres out. Going for goal number one. Sherrick sends the drop cut on its way for another goal. She's really enjoying that goal. The scores are all tied up. An eventful quarter and it sees the scores level at the end of the first turn. Thompson leading the ranking points on the ground. The opposition need to get a hold of her. Players ready to start the second quarter. Guides it down. Doing well was go day. The ball spills to Mithen. Dishes it off. She can take off after that handball. First possession for Pierce. Dismisses the tackler. Opportunity once again for Melbourne to put one through. Going for goal number one. Close call there, but it just made it for a score. The teammates rush over. Melbourne could have kicked the last two goals. Six points the difference. Pierce clears the contest. Just gets the kick away. Scoops up the ball. Phillips kicks hurriedly. Doesn't take the mark. Miffin dug out the loose ball. Packs it out of there. Randall does well to mark. Goes with the kick. Nice hands. Marinov uses it by foot. Goes short by hand. She can put it through. She's put it through. Pierce celebrates with the fans. Melbourne have three in a row. Two goals the margin for Melbourne. Picked up now. Didn't get away from that tackle. Fantastic pressure there. She gets above the crowd. She drives it towards goal. Brilliant start. And she puts it through. A second goal in the bag. She celebrates hard after that. 
Melbourne, Fleet Adelaide, 26 to 8. She did really well there and gets the reward. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Adelaide giving themselves a chance on the turnover, but they can't seem to be putting it on the scoreboard. Melbourne trailing the clearance numbers, but it's not a big issue for them because of their defence. Cleanly picked up. Scott, there to mop up. Hurry kick. Zanka takes it well. Big kick required from this distance. She decides to go for home. Just couldn't get it to Kern enough. Melbourne, 27, lead Adelaide, 8. Decides to play on. Goes by foot. Doing well to intercept that kick. 50 metres out. The kick from Haxman. Doing well to intercept that kick. Puts boot to ball. Considine takes it strongly. Puts it on the boot. Takes the mark all by herself. Melbourne just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. A chance to reload the attack now. She takes aim. Look at her. She really enjoyed that one. Melbourne have kicked the last five goals. The margin is 25. McKinnon won the hit out. The ball mopped up. Full spin. Okay. We'll have another ball up. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? This game needs a spark at the moment. Pierce heads onto the ground. Ball up in the centre square. Punches it clear. Gum gets the handball away. Cox just gets it onto the boot. Thompson gathers it now. Seen plenty of it. Adelaide behind by 24. Cordner deciding where to go with the kick in. Shear picks up the loose ball. Finds the loose ball. The umpire calls for it. Big thump from Pierce. Keeps it alive under some pressure. Couldn't go on with it. And the ball goes out. The ball is coming back into play. The loose ball scooped up. The handball hits the target. Pierce wins the foot race. Show some physicality. We've got a whistle. Hanks elects to kick. The ball ends up with Haxman. Stabs at the kick. Great mark under pressure. A spearing kick from Birch. She finds herself in space and marks. Does well to cut off the kick. Half time arrives, Gary. What are your thoughts on the first half? A good first half from Melbourne. They can be well pleased with how the game is shaping. What can you tell us from the stats, Gaz? Melbourne are gaining a lot of their advantage through some smart kicks and even better marking inside their forward 50. Thank you, Gaz. Everyone takes a collective breath and we'll return with the second half. A big second half about to begin. Hammers it, takes possession. Off hands from Cramey. Foley goes by hand. She gets her hands on the footy. Dishes it off to a player on the run. Thank we'll you. get a stoppage. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game is going right now. Now we've got a ball up. Thrashes it. Smith gurns a free kick. 
Emerson found a way to mark that one. Uses it by foot. Good mark there. Burr chicks it. Good mark by Gia. Moves the ball by foot. The umpire pings her here. Elects to kick. Intercepts the ball well. Marinot with a chance to line up for goal. She heads for home. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. Marinot couldn't be happier with that goal. Pierce just swats it away. O'Day controls this one. Phillips pushes through with power. Got hands to it. Pierce needs to lift. She's barely touched the ball lately. Mithin missed an opportunity to mark. Gets a touch to the ball. Kicks hurriedly. They can create from this. Going for goal number one. Unfortunately, lets them down there. Melbourne doing well at the moment. Allen to kick it in. Plays on. Drives it out of defensive 50. It's marked by Hatcher. Gets a hand to the ball. Randall winning plenty of the ball. Yes, I know. She's a class act. Slams it on the boot. Great mark in the pack. Keeps it moving. A clean pickup. Lampard drives it out of the pack. Finds a target. Jacobson doesn't want to let her teammates down with this kick. She takes the mark. Scott will kick from beyond the 50. She can put it through. Sense the opportunity and was able to take it. This one gives them a bigger lead. Celebrating hard. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Melbourne are forcing the opposition to give it to the open player. They aren't allowing them any room to move forward. Pierce thumped it clear. Handball's out in front. She gains the possession. Has the player running for her. Intercepted. At full stride, receives the handball. Thompson over the top. Sinks the slipper into it. Downey runs after this one. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Mithin releases the ball. Looks to move it by foot. The ball spells the Hanks. Going for goal number one. No issues with that drop pass. She's enjoying that goal. The Demons could kick back-to-back -back goals. The lead is now 31. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see that she's up and about now. She did really well there and gets the reward. Taps it down. Pierce gains possession. Pierce just threw it. Tips it towards half forward. McKinnon was surrounded. She needed to mark that, and she did. Decides to kick. Takes a nice mark. 50 metres out. Fourth lining up now on a 45 degree angle. Going for goal number one. It was always pushing that post and pushing so hard. It's hit it. We would love to nail that chance. 
players move as they look to provide an option. Looks up with a kick. Takes an uncontested mark. Axman looking to rebound with this kick. Adelaide trailing by 30. Melbourne believe they can win this game. It's time to show it. Let's have a closer look at the stats. The Demons could have been giving the opposition a chance to move the ball around freely, which is worth We have one quarter of footy ahead of us. Let's go. They need to get a move on if they're going to win from here. Punches are clear. He's in her possession. Phillips puts it out in front. Slams it onto the boot. Taking a nice grab. Adelaide fans would love to see this one sail through. Might be too far out to score. Massive kick here. They need to convert this opportunity. Adelaide close the gap to 29. They can just slow the game down now. Take a bit of time off the clock. Spears the ball. A strong mark in the pack for Gordon. Got boot to ball. Scoops it up, gets a quick kick away. Just put her hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. She spears the ball. Van Hagen takes the mark, uncontested. Chose to kick it. Marino wins the ball in the air. Spears the ball. And the mark will be paid. A low stabbing kick. The mark is taken by Paxman. Melbourne are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Rushes with the kick. Takes the mark. 45 metres out. Thompson going for broke now. And the chance at goal is taken by Adelaide. That's two now. Finding her feet in front of goals. The teammates rush over. She knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. That's a really good team goal. With the hit. Releases by hand. Up for grabs for Guerin. Can't take the mark. Van Hagen gets the loose ball. Dug out the loose ball. Radzic. Fair to mop up. Just sends it into space. With the ball now. Considine was taken high in the tackle. With quick hands. The old one-two. She has the ball. Mules with a penetrating handball. She's got the footy in her hands. McKinnon got under it. Melbourne haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. With a driving kick. Great grab. Zanka drives it long. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. Uses it across half back. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Jones to have the shot from outside 50. Sheer takes the mark. Look it on. She locks her chances from here. A drop pass through the goals. She's excited about that one. That's two in a row for Adelaide. They found a way back into this game. Spots it. Sheriff has the ball. Did well to get a hand in. Radzic just put it on the boot. Had 
Richard. Couldn't hang on to the ball. The loose ball picked up. Oh. Doesn't get low enough and gives away the free. Hatcher goes with the kick. Marked by Van Hagen. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Melbourne forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Jones goes for territory. McKinnon wins the ball in the air. Moves it by foot. Zankin looking to track down the footy. Just landed in her back. With a driving kick. Disappointing result for Adelaide. Gaz, what did you think of today's game? It's just a bit of class that sets them apart today and a bit more polish when they needed it most. That's why they walk out here with us. The final scores are in. Melbourne, 46. Adelaide, 29. Thanks for joining us, Gaz, but that's all we have time for. It's been a pleasure, Hutto, and we'll catch you next time.